looking clean, looking. Sick. And of course, D Mac in the building doing what he does and messing up things. And I'm, of course, I'm joined with the one, the only Unico. How you doing, that Unico? I'm well. Have I ever told anybody that I hate young people on this show? The young men, the young lost men. It all started with Tariq. It all started with Tariq. Um, and 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 here we go. Here we go. I, I just I, it, it's, Tariq is stupid, and he's stupid. D Mac is stupid. Maybe we get um Power Book Eight, and we get <laughs> to the book of D Mac. The book, I don't, I, don't I, I wouldn't watch it because it's the dumbest that would be the dumbest character development of all time. At least Tariq had like lineage of this, he got like, better, he got better, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But all of them kids, they just all lost, man. That's Shorty from Fresh Prince. Nah, she's looking a little different, but Joe, they always fall for the light skin, they always fall for the yellow, yellow. Yeah, every every time, boy, you with Genesis. Genesis don't mess with broke niggas. I got to get out there on that field and start selling. I'm like my man doing this for a girl. And then, of course, if y'all know what we're talking about, our man D-Mac shot a police officer at the end of the episode. So now he 100% in it. It ain't no getting out. Let's get this show started. But yeah, Joe, how do you feel about D Mac? I actually wanted to get in, and now he's in deeper than he ever could be. Well, I guess let's work this episode a little bit backwards. So, first and foremost, I'm glad that they got rid of the ugliest person I've ever seen in my life. That oh, that cop is ugly. He is. <laughs> that is an ugly dude. He looked like how like how did you get through school without them thinking that you might have some sort of. Uh, what do they call it? Uh, my, you, that you might be neurodeficient. So yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just throwing that out there. That I'm, I'm just glad that he's gone. If we all don't know, it's the police. Started officer. looking at it. I need twenty. She had a setback. I need twenty five thousand. For y'all that don't I need know, twenty five thousand and not come back on in this show. <laughs> well, you don't won't see him no more because D Mac, which you got to give him credit for, Joe. He took care of him for you, so you never have to see him again. Thank they, you. They don't, they don't earn no points for you. None. <laughs> um, I mean, it it that's the only thing that earned points, but that's he just caused problems though. Now we got big problems. The point, the plan, because man, that cop wasn't about to shoot, wasn't about to shoot uh Tommy and um and old boy, he wasn't about to shoot him. <laughs> he was not, but um, for y'all to know, the police officer was. He was pressing Diamond because Diamond, oh, he said Diamond owed him money because his sister got sick because some drugs that were sold on the street. So he was like, so Tommy and Diamond was going to use him to get an informant. He was like, I don't work for y'all. Y'all don't tell me what to do. Then he put a gun on him. I'll shoot both of y'all and burn the building down. Ain't nobody know nothing. So so my boy come downstairs because they in his, in, of course, the house Tommy in. He see it and he, and he pulled a gun on him. So my boy, my boy D-Max said, I got Darnell. Shot him in the back of the head. Shout out to Tommy for being a good uncle and <laughs> telling him, hey, it's, it's and my thing is, is Diamond took <laughs> that Diamond took that way way better than I thought he would because he was just like, now what are we gonna do? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! All this better, everything that this kid just did, that's all about to fall <laughs> on Diamond now. Yes, he has now. He has problems with everybody on him. Um, he learned from the report from our favorite um, lawyer that they are on their tail, keep it low, let everybody else handle the business. So now Diamond has this problem he's dealing with because this was his issue because this dude was pressing him because he knew what he was doing. He was like, I'll sell you out and you'll be in jail and your parole will be over and all this. So problem kind of take care of, but now it presents a new problem. Yeah. <laughs> It's a new problem. You gotta hide. A, you gotta hide the murder of a police officer, and somebody else in the in the police in the agency already knows that he's that he's been doing that stuff to Diamond. So he already knows about. So somebody in there already knows about this. So as soon as something happens, now that there's there's a new problem. Yeah. So we're gonna work this show in, in order of importance of the character of what happened. Shout out to like my boy D Mac. He he causing problems all over because he wanted to find girl and wanted to prove something. Yeah, I could take you out. So you're like, I gotta get, I gotta get to sell it. 
<laughs> so stupid. This was so stupid. This this Nick, Kelly character development is beyond stupid. Like Nick's I'm still- never a, I'm never an advocate for somebody to die uh, as a child, but <laughs> he that gut shot should have took him. Should have took him out the game. He's so stupid. Like, is that really how they feel that teens in Chicago think every single day? Like, for real, like, this is, these are people that don't belong in society, if you think like that, period. Which some of them do, unfortunately. Um, But we have, then we got to the other, the dummy. I'm the main character. This is my movie. There ain't no treason without me. (laughs) After he got jumped, of course. (laughs) But, hey, he was putting work one-on-one, though. I ain't gonna lie. You put so man's referring to the fact that 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 Jay admitted to killing Lil K. Yes, he said, and he told them they ain't, they they left, and they said they ain't gonna be part of this clique no more because we supposed to be family. And you kill Lil K. My man said, "This is my movie, y'all niggas. Y'all think y'all the main character? I'm the main character." He tried to have it Denzel moment. So he see broke the code. <laughs> it's a code to this shit. Okay, did he, did he have it Denzel moment, Joe? He did. He did uh, from training day. He was snorting. They was like, "Man, you you getting you getting you getting high? What's going on up here, man?" They they had reason to be very worried about him. And now you just cut up. You already split from CBI, so that's half the forces, and now you split up again. That's 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 ridiculous. But there they are. I mean, Jay's just doing bad business all around. He's killing his people. He's putting baby powder in the coat. I mean, he's putting, he's, they mad at him because he's putting in bad product out on the street. Like it's, he's, Jay is on a path to self destruction. He, he, except, you know, he's dumber than what's, what's my guy's name that, uh, that ghost was hunting down for like the first three seasons. He couldn't stand him. What was his name? But, um, was he talking about two, wasn't it two cent, whatever? No, when he worked in, when he worked, he worked in Truth too. At the beginning of the show, I can't, I can't remember. I know who you're talking about. I can't remember name. Live. I can't remember name. But also, my man is also getting pressed this whole time. He going through it. He having nightmares. He got t- man. This dude got like three of these texts today, and he was pressed the whole time. He's like, hey, times up. Hey, I'll be there tomorrow from the service. I'm like, dang. Hey. Man, out here getting threatened. Out here, they're getting choked. The Dre, that's, 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 oh, that's, that's the name, Dre. That's That's the name, Dre. He out here getting choked out every second. I think you play a game. We can get rid of the surge. My man Miguel was choking him out. <laughs> My man just have a he just he, he getting he getting jumped out here. Telling everybody he the main character. He losing it, Joe. How, you know that's you know. that's I mean that's why I that's why I felt it important to look up the name because I'm seeing the similarities. They were always pressing Dre. He was always in trouble. He was always owing somebody something while trying to scheme around stuff. And that's the same thing that's happened to Jay. He is Serbs want him, Mexicans want him. But I mean, Diamond could have had him, but he left it alone. I mean, man, well, t- Jay he, just all the well, way. Well, well, he don't, he don't have to deal with Tommy because Tommy told him, "Hey, if you handle the, if you handle the problem with little Chewy, I ain't you ain't got no problem with me." And he like, "Hey, the higher ups called made the call." <laughs> I was like, "If yeah. Tommy the higher up, <laughs> the higher powers." <laughs> yeah, he said the higher power made the call. I'm like. The only person that made the call was Terman. So, hey, at least you know I know, hey, this this white boy crazy. Yeah, man. It's crazy <laughs> stuff, man. They called him the higher power Joe Freeze, and the higher power made the call. And I'm like, wait. Because we saw in the preview of this episode, too, Terman, like, hey, if you if you don't have this problem, I'm going to handle you the problem and you. So, so you see, Janard ain't had no problem with Terman this episode. He handled the problem. He didn't. When Tommy had bigger fish to fry. <laughs> hey, but one on one, I ain't gonna lie though. That cocaine strength, he had old boy pressed. <laughs> yeah, he did. He even did a little, little fireman's with the fireman's toss or whatever. He even did that to one of the dudes. <laughs> they ended up getting him though, but he gave him a fight. That's that cocaine strength. That he was. You on, notice was how on. all of his crew was like youngsters, and all of uh, uh, Gerard's crew looked like old, like older guys. That was standing in the back, like they was well built men. You know what I'm saying? Are you talking about the ones behind him or the ones? Yeah, behind him. him. No, oh, no yeah. behind behind Gerard. All his oh, friends, yeah. like the guy that came out and shot the gun, and the people that was yeah. in line, they all was yeah. like well built, like mature looking men. While yeah. my guy was, he he was with some what they looked like some youngsters to me. So, but he, like, he, he was the difference. 
but he was telling them they got to get youngsters out there. So that's the so he was, yeah. So I mean, you can see the the difference in the division of the line is basically the youth versus the older. And, and, and from what the way from what I gather, and I then even, you, and I wasn't and then, asking for permission. And my boy, of course, he was like, "Yo, man, trees are falling apart. They all fighting each other. Well, shoot, Di- Diamond and them getting it together. We getting bread out here." <laughs> so I'm like, "You see what crew winning?" Yeah. The next storyline in the story I thought was important was, of course, the crazy driver, Maria, who man, she beat- folded. <laughs> she folded. She folded quicker than some uh, than the end of a wedding. There's hey, some man. chairs at the end of a wedding, man. Hey, listen, if you let if you go out here and let a man sit out here and coach you up and then have you driving and beat a train, you owe him something. <laughs> you know, I'm looking like that. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Man, she folded. She I'm folded just, so quick. So she outran a train. I'd be like, hey, you are crazy. <laughs> you are tripping. Why are you trying to outrun a train? <laughs> Joe, she tried to outrun a train, Joe. I mean, shoot, I do that every day. <laughs> I promise you, it might be production wide, Joe, but I promise you that train, that thing was halfway down when she went through, and I'm like, how does she get past it? Because I know she in a truck. Ain't like she in a little bit of car that can just go and leave. But I guess that don't matter. It's moving Good for her. She can drive. Let's talk about her folding. <laughs> she did fold, but she's like, I don't want, I don't deal with people that's going to die soon. And she did. This man clearly doing illegal. He's like, oh, um, you, you want something to eat? He's like, yeah. She's like, okay, bet. What we finna eat? We finna eat right now? He's like, bet. And then he's like, nah, never mind. Uh, I'll meet you later on. I'm finna go in the bathroom real quick. I got something to do. I'm like, this nigga clearly doing something illegal. Yeah, they went to the they went to the they went to the zoo after that. And and one of those one of those boys tried a uh, Rojas boys talking about Tommy take, taking the money out the street, try to kill him. He had to handle that in the zoo. Let's pick this up later tonight. Boom. They out there later tonight. Brought her favorite tacos. Boom. He, he gets a call. He got to leave again. I learned, if I ain't learned nothing else from this show, I'm about to start playing with girls like that. I'm about to start doing nice stuff and saying, I got to go. They just keep them lingering around. I ain't going to let it work. Sometimes they, yeah, they feel I, like I believe it, that works. It do. It, it makes you feel like it feel like you're mysterious. Like, do he really want me? I'm going to try a little harder. I'm, not, I'm about to start doing it. I'm going to give a girl some flowers and hold her hand for a second. And, and, zzz, zzz, and it's going to be you. I'm going to tell you to text me at 630. <laughs> you going to text me. Hey, I got I to gotta go. Just. Hey, if she come. she she might take it next time. Just, she be like, no, nah, you ain't leaving this time. Bet. <laughs> Bet. And that give me an even better excuse because after we get done, then I can really be like, Hey, but for real, that text I got earlier, I really got to go. <laughs> I really got to go. <laughs> Quick side note. Um, Diamond, Our- hey, Tommy ain't the only one. Diamond got him a bad one. Who is Diamond? I'm like, oh, Diamond in trouble. Always using their sons to, to get close to somebody. You teach my son how to box. Next thing you know, he going to be getting some box. <laughs> Yeah, but um, she came in looking like a even the old man was like, "Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You teach, I teach your son to box too. I get it, I understand." So he ain't the only one getting some kind of diamond. And listen, everybody, everybody get. Hey, I'm I'm happy for my boy Diamond. He see this is what happen when you be the good guy in the neighborhood. You know what I mean? You get to find mama. Yeah. Why they all, why they always got to find mama? Like the kid that get beat up got to find mama. Every time after she after she done made all the mistakes in her youth, now she want to get get a 15, 16 year old and start looking for somebody. Boy, these women <laughs> kill me. They want to have four, five kids and then come back around. Man, go on somewhere. Hey, well, to that. But Diamond, they they have a down. I think she only got one. We know her, so let's see. Diamond, we'll keep hey. we'll keep watching. <laughs> yes, sir. hey, she bad, but I ain't gonna lie, them jeans. I saw them jeans. I'm like, oh, they 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 pick one. Star's good at picking one now. Star's good at picking them, Joe. <laughs> Face cards for sure, but bodies sometimes they be picking the skinniest woman you ever seen in your life. Like they ain't never ate nothing. Like now I know that sister's supposed to have a little bit more something on her. Like uh Gloria, Boy, she's the skinniest and skinny than a little bit. Yeah, let's get to Irish. Let's get to the Irish family. Yeah, my man Walker. Ah, it wasn't for my for my wife, sister marrying you. You had nothing. You had nothing. That's my Irish voice, everybody. But man, he done pulled up on Paulie. 
He put up. He didn't lost it. Yeah, man, he losing it. Polly the man. It. Polly yeah. trying to look out. Polly was trying to look out for my man. He's like, hey man, the Irish on his ass. man. I need help, Brandon. Brandon, like I don't like these motherfuckers. Like, hey, bro, me and you family. They like family to me too. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, what happened to this part is he they was explaining the problem. Walter is on an ego trip. Like, I'm gonna handle all of this. Shit. Polly, like, you can't handle it, my boy. I'm gonna get some help from my boy Brandon, who's sleeping with your daughter. <laughs> for information yeah. <laughs> yep and he was like and he fired Polly man Polly's gone and Polly's like you ungrateful he's falling apart as we speak but what'd he do to that club down there he sit in the club him and I don't know what's up with him and his son in these clubs <laughs> because Gloria hey Vic, Vic went off too Joe Vic, yeah. Vic, that whole club situation like that club like hey bro Come now, what? Every time one of y'all flans come in this month, <laughs> yo, Vic saw that Gloria didn't have her picture up, and my man just started throwing shit. Where's a strip, at? a whole strip club. <laughs> People getting dome in the strip club in front of everybody. I mean, they just defiled her club, her bar rather. It wasn't even a club; it was just a bar. And where she's the only, where she the cook, where she's the cook and the bartender. <laughs> yeah, it worked. It's, you know, work, she worked all day. <laughs> hey, they found new workers and they put in work. Yeah, hey. Man, they turned that mug all the way out, bro. Where is Gloria's picture? <laughs> First off, who's Gloria? <laughs> oh, I'm like, I'm gonna I'm call like, the cops, man. Well, somebody's getting some head right here. I don't think you want to call the cops. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. <laughs> Yeah, just tell them to stop by the time they get here. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> like, put that up. Uh, we we gotta we gonna see what them Flynn's is what how, yeah. how them, them them Flynn twins what they gonna do. Yeah, and they plotting on Walter. They trying to get him out of here. They say, hey, we gotta kill him. I'm uh, taking them apart piece by piece. Well, if you pay taking them apart, why don't you go down to the bar? <laughs> <laughs> Claudia telling him, hey, bro, we ain't no piece by piece, dog. We gotta get rid of him. Cause you what you gonna do? Let a wolf recover? He on his ass right now. With he's wounded right now. He's biting it. Whoever he's biting yes, at the Irish right now. So he's like, we gotta take him out while we can. I'm like, oh, I respect it. Shout out to Claudia. She up there even met with um the Serbs, telling them lying like a mother. Yeah, they all they Genard and them all work together. They playing you like they ain't on the side. How you think they kept that building? They just playing the game on you. But you work with us, we can get rid of all your problems. But I heard about your father. My father's sick. He can't show up. Thought he line up, so now they got Tommy Egan and I don't know Tommy Egan name that started making circles around here. You say Tommy Egan name, say it's like what? <laughs> yeah, and shout out, shout out to the shout out to here's an update on our task force. They following him, and they done they done they done they done, they done, they done hemmed up all the black boys. They soldiers. They ain't gonna say nothing. But they done hemmed up the black boys now. <laughs> they got the whole neighborhood on you know, like a line. I'm like, I'm like, and they just going they. I didn't even see nothing when I looked at them. So they, they had money, I guess. I guess the money, and they bear. took out a little piece, a little pack of powder. But they yeah. probably hit them with it, like you know, intent to distribute because they was in baggies type stuff. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, some that you know, probably about three years in jail, no big deal. Yeah. As long as they ain't catch no gun with it. But yeah, man, ain't that happened. And um, you know, see people keeping secrets, man. And um, you know, Diamond kept a secret about the police officer. And Tommy had to pull up on 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 Diamond like that's the second time I seen you with the, you. You ain't no snitch, Ari. Put the gun to him. Put the gun to Diamond, <laughs> and that's what took us to that to the end the end scene where he's trying to shake him down. He said, "Tell me, tell him when we go, when we gonna meet." They meet, and and that's that takes us to the conclusion of the episode. We got a cop with a with a bullet to the head. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. That that angle that nigga shot from, I was like, this nigga, watch me. <laughs> this nigga coming down the steps while this mother in front of the wood. <laughs> this nigga, a marksman. That nigga hit him straight in the back. I'm like, I, like, I had your, I had your back, Uncle Tommy. What? Hey, at, at first he was like, I'm at first. Hey, I, I did like, I did like. Shout out to D Mac for his acting because at first you like, I handled him, and then he like, that's a cop. You're like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my life over. <laughs> Yes, yeah, it's, it's the, all that sit behind a computer and do your math and shit. That shit is over with. It sounded he gotta good. Go chop, he got to go chop up a body today. <laughs> it sounded good. You want to be part of it. Now you don't went to the most extreme you can do. I ain't going to let in America shooting a police officer. Okay. They ran it through hell to get you. 
Facts. You might have two task force. Tommy can't be like, oh, I ain't worried about another task force. Then we're going to have a task force on top of a task force. Yeah. We got a task force <laughs> for the task force. <laughs> Just in case the first task force don't get you. At least Tariq don't have to deal with this. Tariq, like, hey, we go, they like, man, that's a little kid. Leave him alone. And then they be like, all right, you got some evidence. All right, we'll might do it. But this one's going to be like, oh, you shot a, you killed a police officer? Oh, they're going to put three task force on you. They're going to look in the individuals. They looking in. They are task force for each game member. <laughs> no doubt. But overall, we, I enjoyed that episode. Uh, such a cliffhanger, if you ask me. Um, I'm ready for next week already. I'm ready for next Thursday, man. Let's get it. There's been a good. There's been a good season so far, man. Power, power, been on point, dog. It's just been on point, man. I've been catching up on raising Canaan, and I'm enjoying that. So. Uh, you know the deal. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel, Overall 99 Media. Make sure you subscribe to Unico Williams on YouTube, baby. Almost at 300. I ain't even checked. We growing. So, uh, uh, you know you know the deal. Make sure you like and subscribe over there, too. Appreciate it. Yeah, and if they don't know who we are, Joe. They going to ask, probably. They probably is, but the question is. Who are these niggas? <laughs>